I told you that there was a way to make decisions easier, faster, and more visual? Making decisions is hard enough as is. You got Chunky Monkey versus Cherry Garcia. How much money do you spend on a new television? And how do I convince my wife that we need one? But American, in this video, I'll be showing you four diagrams that make decision making a breeze, especially for remote teams working all around the world. Let's jump in. At number one, we have RACI chart. RACI stands for Responsible, Accountable, Consulted, and Informed. These roles are used to outline responsibilities each person has in a project or process. It also means too many people aren't trying to make a decision at once. And it's clear throughout the project who to turn to when the need arises to make executive decisions. Mapping out roles in a racy charts can help prevent confusion and overlap in responsibility. This in turn ensures better communication and clearer accountability throughout your project. What is super helpful is building a racy chart in Dryo for Confluence means it lives inside the documentation it relates to. Add useful context for team members on your Confluence page so they know things like why the RACI chart has been implemented as well as how to use the chart. Next up is the Eisenhower matrix. Now, those of you that have been paying attention, come on somebody, know that we just mentioned this not too long ago in the previous video, linked in the description. But it's worth mentioning again because this tool here will help you with time management and prioritizing your tasks effectively. Simply use the framework to assess your to-do list based on how important and urgent each task is. This will help you tackle your tasks in a systematic and efficient way. For more detailed explanation and example of the RACI chart, make sure you check out our video in the description. And now in at number three is the decision tree. A decision tree shows the various paths involved in making a decision. Decision. By seeing all your options laid out, you can weigh your options and carefully decide the best course of action to get to the desired goal. Here is a D&D inspired decision tree. Hmm, which class should I choose? I want to deal some physical attacks and a little magic wouldn't hurt. I think I'll pick the monk for my next campaign. And as you can tell, I am a dungeon and dragons master. Last but certainly not least, we have SWAT analysis. Crush your enemies with brute force. Sorry, I'm, I got caught up in the Dungeons and Dragons. I meant to say, assess the business competition to gain a tactical advantage. All right, so to quickly sum it up, SWAT is about the following. Your strengths are the things that give your business a competitive edge, while your weaknesses are any factors that might put you at a disadvantage, and your opportunities are the factors that you can leverage for potential gain, and threats are those that pose a risk to your project or business. By identifying your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and threats in relationship to your project or business venture, you'll be able to more clearly know whether you're likely to to succeed or fail, and you'll notice any gaps in the market to take advantage of that your competition has not yet spotted. So the next time you're forced with a tough decision to make, use these diagrams and methods to carefully assess your options and make a decision that's informed and robust. If you haven't tried Dryo, again, you can try for free for 30 days in the Elastic Marketplace. I hope this was helpful. Until next time, stay connected.